hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new what up today i wanted to show you guys what fragrances i picked out to use as my transitional fragrances so basically these are going to be the scents that i'm going to be using in that weird period between summer and fall now like i've mentioned in other videos here in arizona child it can be hot all the way until november okay some days might be cold it might be cool but then you have some days that are still blazing hot so it's kind of a, a really weird period in arizona but these are going to be the fragrances that i feel like i can get away with wearing during that strange period so they might not do very, very well in the extreme heat but they might do good when it's maybe like anywhere from 70 to 80 degrees outside but then they can also play very very well if it gets super super cool like at night or in the morning time so these are going to be my transitional fragrances and y'all already know i say this in all of my videos i have so many fragrances i have so many fragrances so i could easily pick out probably 50 fragrances that i could use as my transitional scents but i narrowed it down to the ones that i'm really interested in wearing that i really want to you know get some use on and that i really feel like i would enjoy so i narrowed it down to 15 scents that's not to say that I won't reach for other scents because I might just, you know, be filling the scent one day. So there might definitely be a lot more scents that I use for my transitional period, but these are the ones that I wanted to show you guys. So if you're interested, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm just gonna go down the line and start talking about these fragrances. So the first one is Victoria's Secret Bare Vanilla Untamed. I've actually been getting ready for this scent. Like I've been waiting for this scent. This smells amazing to me. I've mentioned it before. Like the more that I wear this on my skin, the more that I I got like this toasty marshmallow smell from this so it is gorgeous to me it has the original bare vanilla dna but kind of like more of a fall version this definitely smells like a fall version of bare vanilla with that kind of roasty toasty creamy marshmallow but i still feel like it can do well in the heat because i like bare vanilla in the heat like I can wear bare vanilla any time of the year. I think it's definitely a year round type of scent. And because this so heavily has the bare vanilla DNA in it, I think that this can be classified as a year round scent as well, but it's definitely going to serve me very, very well for that transitional period where some days it might be hot, some days it might be cool. I think it will work for both occasions. So yeah, I can't wait to wear this one and I'm definitely gonna be pairing it with my Mix Bar Vanilla Bourbon perfume. That's what I'm gonna be wearing this with. I can't can't wait so the next fragrance is going to be one that's discontinued but hey i have a lot of discontinued fragrances in my collection i still want to mention them to you guys just because they're here they're here and if i'm using them i'm gonna let you guys know that i'm using them so the next one is going to be peach and honey almond from bath and body works i keep saying that i'm gonna use this fragrance and i'm gonna finally get through it and let it go <laughs> But it just have it hasn't happened yet. I love this fragrance so much. This is one of the most beautiful scents they have ever done. It will remain in my top three. I don't care if they never come back with this scent. It will remain in my top three scents from Bath and Body Works because it's just so amazing this is one of the most complex scents that they've ever done but it's beautiful in every way every scent note blends and meshes well together in this fragrance you definitely get the peach that fruitiness it's juicy it's ripe you get the honey it's smooth and it's creamy and then you get that heavy almond note and the almond is not dusty it's not like a super nutty almond it's more like creamy and smooth this is beautiful and i love this this is definitely a transitional type of scent to me because it gives me the fruitiness for summer but then it also gives me that smooth creamy coziness for fall and it's so beautiful when the wind picks this up and carries it love this fragrance the next scent that i have here is going to be victoria's secret love spell la creme i'm so excited to pull this one out i have not wore love spell la creme in a little minute but i love this fragrance so much it's a smoother creamier version of the original love spell it still has that kind of like really fruity fruit punch essence to it but then it has like the creaminess and it also has woodiness as well this to me smells like a high-end perfume it's so good very mature very feminine very womanly and i love this fragrance 
and I get compliments on it all the time. So I'm definitely excited to pull that one out. The next one I'm excited to pull out is another one that I've already been wearing. This is Warm and Cozy. I just mentioned in another video how this cannot get cloying in the heat. So while this is definitely perfect for cozy weather, like it says, warm and cozy is, is great for those cool days. This is also really, really good for those hot days as well because it just cannot become suffocating. It just cannot make you feel sick in the heat. It just can't. And this is coconut, it's passion fruit, and it's vanilla perfect perfect blend of those fragrance notes like it is literally the perfect blend this warm and cozy from Victoria's Secret Pink is to me what the peach and honey almond is from Bath and Body Works they just blended the notes together so well to create something so beautiful and I love it okay next is going to be one that I didn't enjoy that much well I did I wouldn't say I didn't enjoy it I didn't get the chance to enjoy it that much last year but I'm definitely going to be wearing the crap out of this fragrance this is Coconut Candy Apple from Bath and Body Works. Oh my God, y'all, this, this fragrance, this is so good. I loved this when I first got it. This is Candied Red Apple Shredded Coconut Vanilla Spice. Literally so good. You get the apple, you definitely get the creamy coconut, and then you get like a hint, like a tiny little hint of a spiciness, like a vanilla spice. It's, it's just so good. This is perfection. And I think that this is definitely a nice transitional fragrance because you have the coconut from summer. So if you're still in like that coconut mindset from summer, you can definitely enjoy this one. But then it has like that fall apple type of smell that people love during fall. Basically like that quintessential apple type of scent, you're gonna get it in this one. So I think this was perfect. This was perfect for them to come out with and it's definitely a nice transitional fragrance. So I will be using that one. The next one I'm gonna pull out is Peach Prosecco Macaron. This one is so good. It's peachy, fruity. It's all like the peach and honey almond. Peachy and fruity, but then it has like that creamy macaron note. So it has vanilla cream, macaron cookie, peach prosecco. I feel like this is perfect. Again, it's a nice fruity and creamy blend. When you're thinking about transitional fragrances, I feel like that's gonna be the vibe of all of the fragrances. They kind of have that, that fruitiness. So it reminds you of summer and hot weather, but then they have some type of creamy note to them that's going to give you the cozy vibes of fall and then also you can go for like deeper fruity fragrances so like those deeper berries black currant plum those type of fragrances are really really great transitional scents as well so yeah peach prosecco macaron this is definitely giving summer and fall like that in between period to me so i can't wait to enjoy this one and i've actually already been loving it with a perfume so I'm, I'm gonna keep enjoying it with that same perfume because it definitely gives me fall vibes. From that same collection, I'm gonna be using Pear Creme Brulee. This one is yummy. I've mentioned this one already and I said that it definitely gives me fall vibes because this smells like, it literally smells like a pear pie. Like it's giving fresh home baked goods, like a warm oven. You're feeling very cozy and the house very comforted. You're chilling on the couch with a blanket. That is what this is giving me. So it has baked pear, caramelized sugar and whipped cream. This is kind of like a comfort fragrance. So it just definitely screams transitional to me. Another fragrance, this is one that I love like during the immediate summer, but I also think it's a transitional fragrance as well. And that is Berry Waffle Cone. For the same reason of all these other fragrances, this one gives me like those fruity berries, but then it also has that, mm, it also has that warm waffle cone gourmand note. So this one, it definitely helps me to transition from summer to fall. Like I always say, this smells like cereal to me. It reminds me of like Saturday or Sunday morning cartoons. So this one is just perfect to transition you. I feel like the warmth that you get from this is super nice if you wanna wear this to bed when it starts getting cool outside, it just works. So I will be using my Berry Waffle Cone. This one, this is another one that I didn't get to use a whole, whole lot last year, but I love this fragrance. This is Cupcake Swirl by Body Fantasies. This is actually the little mini bottle, but child, I have three of these, okay? I have three of these on backup, on standby, because this scent is so, good this is a very spicy mm, but spicy in a good way oh my god this kind of smells like funnel cake to me honestly like it's called cupcake swirl but this smells like funnel cake to me and funnel cake just reminds me of carnivals that happen during the summertime carnivals that happen during the fall time like it's just giving me that carnival sweet vibe it has a sweet bready scent 
and then it has like that spice i love this this smells so so yummy so so quite literally last year like i said i didn't put this to the test this year i cannot wait i cannot wait okay so this is a fragrance that i wore to bed the other night and i was like girl pull this out more this is vanilla mocha cream this is so yummy you guys so it definitely has that latte creamy cocoa vibe for sure for sure when you wear this to bed you're gonna feel enveloped and wrapped in just like this warm and cozy chocolatey latte type of scent with some cream on it it just smells so good this one is cozy cappuccino vanilla orchid white tonka bean it's definitely cozy it definitely embraces you in a warmth so i feel like this would be a nice transitional scent to wear to bed so you're already gearing yourself up for like that cold weather when you're gonna be nice and cozy and warm this is literally so yummy so good so i would definitely say that this is a nice transitional scent to wear to bed the next transitional scent is going to be pink velvet cupcake this is yummy this is yummy it doesn't 100% smell like a cupcake but it's a very creamy berry scent so this one is sparkling red berries whipped pink marshmallow and sugar praline so it definitely is more of a creamy berry type of scent and that's why i think it is perfect so this one is sweet it's feminine it's girly and i think that this fragrance does well in both hot and cool weather so i had to include it in this lineup so pretty smells like the color pink it's very 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 pretty now getting into my like deeper berry scents like i said that kind of they give fall but they're still fruity enough for summer we have midnight pomegranate i i can't get enough of this one this smells like a high-end perfume to me you could definitely smell like the the blackberry spice and the wine note you could smell that jasmine the patchouli the pomegranate it just has all the makings of like this really really nice deep sexy perfume so this would be a great transitional scent for date nights out where it might be cool at night or it might be warm at night but this will not be cloying in the heat if you were to wear like the um blackberry spice and the patchouli and all of that would not get cloying this is just very very pretty very date night appropriate very nights out appropriate and i think it's great to wear to work too like in the daytime if you're going to work going to school whatever and you're wearing this i think this is perfect as well especially in that in between period so midnight pomegranate i can't wait to wear it same thing with my black raspberry vanilla y'all know this is one of my favorites this is one of my favorites like this is definitely a top fall scent for me but i'm gonna be using it for the transitional period i love this one so much a lot of people say they want more of the vanilla in this scent but me personally i think it's perfect the way that it is so it's fresh raspberries vine ripened blackberries so those really dark berry notes and then it has vanilla orchid and creamy sandalwood i have never mixed this with um fragrances to give me more of the vanilla aspect i think it would be good if it did have that but i've come to appreciate it just the way it is like and this is a man eater fragrance <laughs> and let me tell you this is a man eater fragrance period that's all i gotta say so i am definitely going to enjoy pulling this one out and wearing it so the next fragrance i have is in the stars in the stars is a classic i feel like this is a perfect transitional type of fragrance it does well in the heat it does well in the cooler weather this to me is a year-round fragrance and i enjoy it all the time i enjoy it every time i pull it out and because i'm about to start back wearing my ariana grande cloud fragrance on a regular basis because you know when it starts to get cool i do really enjoy that perfume i enjoy that perfume year round but still when it starts to get cool i really do enjoy that perfume so i will be pulling in the stars out to pair it with that perfume and i'm going to enjoy it and love it because that's one of my favorite combinations of life okay and so the very last transitional fragrance i have to show you guys is going to be ruby apple and rosewood raved and raved and raved and raved about this scent i got a backup of it so so pretty this is gala apple autumn peony and soft suede so it has the makings of fall it has that like apple quintessential fall fragrance but it has like a clean freshness from the peony and then it has that soft suede note this this will be beautiful 
for any occasion during this transitional period. This will be a beautiful signature scent to wear to work every day. This will be a beautiful scent for going out on dates because you smell very pretty and feminine, but you have a slight edge to it from that suede. This would be great to take your kids somewhere. Like this would be great to go to brunch. This would just be an all around nice fragrance. I love this one. I love this one and I definitely want to get some use on it this year because I didn't enjoy it as much last year. So it's definitely going in the lineup and that is it you guys those are all of the fragrance that i specifically picked out for my fall transition type of fragrances like i said i will definitely probably be using other things and pulling out more scents but these are the ones that i really want to focus on so if you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know that you enjoyed it if you're new you should definitely go ahead and hit the subscribe button join the fragrance and beauty army as well as that bell notification so that you can be notified every single time that i upload a video and i'll see you guys in my next one peace